where do I even begin and what is going on everyone it is Kier today and I'm back with another video so today I had my meet at the Bay Area Barbell Summer Sideshow aka Bay Area Barbell's inaugural meet and it was a great time so I didn't record anything before hand I kind of wish I did but I was so zoned in the whole day and locked in that I just didn't record anything so basically how it worked is it was in Richmond California where Barrier Barbell is so I've been in Fresno the last two three weeks and I drove up to San Jose on Friday night because I Thursday and Friday I wasn't training so the Friday night I drove up to my aunt's house in San Jose and then I woke up around 9 30 or 10 o'clock and uh, drove up there to Bab, which is like an hour away from my aunt's house, so it's not too far. And I was in the PM session, so I didn't have to be there by 1. We weighed in at 1.30, and the meet started around 3.30. And so I'm recording this right after the meet, so if I look really dead, that's why. So basically after the meet, me and the boys, we went to go eat at Denny's at like 1 a.m. And then after we ate, I just drove right back to Fresno because I just didn't want to go back to San Jose. I just wanted to come back to Fresno already and just go home. So basically drove the two and a half, three hours that it took to get back home and now I'm making the video. So yeah, <laughs> content creation. So where do I even begin? So as you guys know, or if you've been following my YouTube videos or my Instagrams or anything, me and my friend Lex were competing against each other. So we're both under Lucas or Team CSUN. So we were competing against each other in the 90s in the juniors and the open. So it was basically a battle between me and him that we just wanted to have like a little friendly rivalry with each other. And honestly, it was really fun because we pushed each other to our limits the whole prep and in the meet. So pretty much the funny thing is we were fighting for second and third pretty much because there's uh, this guy named JJ Tompkins from Exceed Performance in SoCal. Dude's crazy. Strong ass dude. I can't even comprehend. Dude's 22 and he's squatting 282 keys, 290 in training and like that. He won best lifter took first in juniors. He didn't compete in open, surprisingly. But yeah, on to the meet. Going into the meet, I knew I was going to be under 90 kg. In fact, I was probably going to be lighter than what I was at my last meet. At the compound, I weighed in at 88.8 kg. This meet, I weighed in at 87.5 kg. And I didn't have to worry about cutting because I was out of baseball season, so I didn't have to worry about eating about 5,000 calories a day. I could eat whatever the hell I wanted and just maintain the weight. So basically we got there, I was wearing two layers of clothes just to stay warm because it was actually kind of cold in Richmond today. So for a little test weigh-in with all my clothes, shoes, and everything in my pockets, I weighed in at 90.5. So I knew by weigh-ins I was going to be way under 90. So basically by the time weigh-ins came in, uh, Tony was running the weigh-ins. I basically just uh, took off all my clothes just down to my shorts and socks. And I weighed in at 87.5. Lex weighed in at around 88.4 if I remember correctly. So I knew if we were to tie, I would get him on body weight. And coming into this meet after our last week of training, I had a total of 595 kg in training, which is my best total so far or ever. And Lex had a total of 602.5, so it was going to be really damn close. Everything had to be perfect. And uh, Lucas and Ronnie, Ronnie is the head of Axis Training Systems, Lucas is under Ronnie, and basically it's just a branch tree like that. So they flipped a coin, and to see whoever won the coin toss would pick the person who has the better subtotal, which is Lex. Me versus Lex is subtotal him versus deadlift specialist me. So if I were to beat him, I was going to have to outpull him. So come meet day, we find out that Lucas won the coin toss, so Lucas had Lex and Ronnie had me. I kind of had a feeling already just by the way they were handing out everything. They're terrible at keeping secrets. Anyway, <laughs> so now I do my little recomp and everything. I didn't have to cut weight, thankfully, but I was just eating my whole bowl of soy sauce and rice just to get recomp full full of carbs and all that. So by the time of squat warm up, I just warmed up with bar one, two, three, and I opened up with 190 kg, which is 419 pounds. So here's a clip of that right here. And the nice thing about this meet is that basically I took all of my successful second attempts from my compound meet, my first meet, as my openers this meet, which is really nice. So 190 flew, obviously it felt like an RP6 just to get on the board, get the nerves out of the way. Like I had a lot more anxiety and nerves coming into this meet just because I actually had some expectations for myself this time after my last meet. So 190 flew, so Ronnie, we had the game plan to jump up to 202.5, which is 446 pounds. Here's a clip of that right here. <laughs>
flew a lot faster than I thought it was. So Ronnie gave me the option of going either to 210 kg, 463 pounds, or 212.5 kg, which is 468, 469 pounds. It felt really good. I was gonna take the conservative jump at 210, but then I told Ronnie, I was like, put whatever you think I should hit. And so he loaded up 212 for me. So 212 kgs, here's the clip right here. This flew. It wasn't as fast as it looked because I had a slight little hip shift in my left leg, but honestly, for a two and a half kg PR, this was really nice. So I know if I were to RPE 10 it, I'd probably have 215, maybe 217 and a half. So hopefully we can squat four reds soon in training, whenever that is. So with a recap of squat, I went 190, 202 and a half, and 212 and a half for a two and a half kg all time PR. Lex hit 225 kg for a stir, which is 496 pounds. His squats was looking really nice, even though they were looking kind of high. But anyway, that's fine. So after squat, we were all just chilling and everything. Just me seeing all the guys from Bay Area Barbell that I knew. I swear to God, I feel like I know everyone in that building. It was a nice time. It was great. I always love coming there. So it was nice to get the nerds out of the way and go three for three on squat, as I failed to do in my first meet. I went two for three if you guys didn't watch that last video. So going into bench, bench, I know Lex has me on this by a long shot, and my, as you guys know, or if you guys do know me, my bench is trash. But like I said, I was gonna take whatever I could this day just to build a six for six subtotal, because that's what I needed. So we opened up with 105 kg, which was my uh, second attempt at compound that I successfully hit. So here's a clip for that. <laughs> And it flew, thank god this weight is becoming a lot easier each time I hit it, as it should because I'm a 90 kg who can bench for shit. Anyway, <laughs> so the game plan was to go from 105 straight up to 110. So my second attempt was 110 kg or 243 pounds. Here's the clip of that right here. Honestly, this did not move very well because as soon as I uh, was coming off my chest, my right lat really cramped bad and my left lat mildly cramped. So I told Ronnie, he was he was saying, how did it feel? I was like, honestly, let's just take a small jump and just go up to 112.5. The game plan anyway was the max I was going up to 115 to match my all-time PR. But I was like, I didn't want to take any chances and just take the extra keys there on bench. So we jumped up to 112.5. And here's a clip of that right here. It was a little slow, like I've hit 115 in training, but the Rogue Fat Pad is a little bit more inflating on your bench than the fatter uh, new uh, Texas Pad. So yeah, I would take 112 and a half kg, and that was also my failed third attempt at compound, so it's nice to hit that. So after bench, we were all just chilling with the guys again, just seeing everyone, talking to my parents and everything, just talking about how everything's going, they were asking me how Dead's is gonna go. So the funny thing is uh, Lex was the very talkative one when we were in bench and the dead's lift is my lift. So I was the one who was not shutting the hell up by the time we were starting deads. So deads like normal, 
I'm in the warm-up room. I went one, two, three, four reds, and we were gonna open up with 245 kg, which was also my second successful attempt at compound. So I'm taking this for my opener, and here's a clip for that right here. As expected, this thing flew. I swear to God to you, that was an RP5, not even a six, as you can see by Maddie, Lucas, and Ronnie's reactions in the back. They they were surprised how fast that flew. So we were originally gonna go to 260, but then how fast 245 flew, we went up to 262.5, which is 579 pounds. And here's the clip of that right here. This was very fast, probably as fast as the last time I hit it, maybe even a little faster. So this is where the cat and mouse game started. So Lex was about five to six people ahead of me, if I remember correctly. So Lex had to pull 235 kg for a PR, which is 518 pounds, to force me to pull 272 and a half. So after my second attempt, Ronnie put 265 kg in, which is a two and a half kg jump. So if Lex failed his third attempt, I would only have to pull 265 kg, and I know I would pull that easy. So come to the platform, Lex successfully hits 235 kg for an all-time deadlift PR. I was really happy for him, even though I was had my death stare going on at, in the moment and everything. So he shocked us and hit a 235 kg PR. So this forced Ronnie to uh, load up 272.5 for me, which is 601 pounds. As you guys know, or if you've seen my last training videos, I hit 270 kg, which is 595 pounds at an RP11 in my last week of heavy training before this meet. But I knew I was gonna have some momentum going in because I was locked in. No one could break me out of my zone then. So here's the clip of my 272 and a half attempt for my third deadlift pull. This would tie me and Lex at 597 and a half. But if we were to tie, I would win on body weight. So here's the clip. Oh, yeah. And my third deadlift attempt at compound really hurt because I knew 255 was there that day, but this one hurt a little more. So, like I said, if I was to sex successfully pulled that, that would have tied me and Lex, and I would have won on body weight and took second. Actually, no, took third in junior, second in open. But that didn't happen. So it got stuck on my leg. That's always my sticking point on deadlift. I am always very fast off the ground and it's just always lockout. That is just always my problem. It's just always been like that. And it just sucks because that 272 and a half honestly flew off the ground faster than my 270 a week ago. It was a crazy fight, honestly. Like I didn't realize I held it for that long until all the guys told me in the back because I walked in the back room and basically just laid down and I just needed all the guys to hold me up. Otherwise, I was just going to collapse on the ground. And yeah, this is going to sting a little bit because, like I said, I wanted to beat Lex so bad, but we pushed each other to our limits. But that competitive spirit in me is not going to let this one slide and I can't let this happen again. So that was crazy. That 272 and a half flew. Like it was fast off the ground and I had a nine to 10 second fight at the top of it before I let it go. Can assure you guys that I could have held that even longer, but I just knew it wasn't gonna go up. And if I held that any longer, I was probably gonna black out or something like that. 
And so, yeah, after that, we basically, like, me and Lex were freaking hugging in the back, congratulating each other, because, like I said, we pushed each other to our limits. Like, today required Lucas and Ronnie to be perfect, and it required me and Lex to be perfect, and someone was going to have to crack. I give Lex props because he showed up on deads at the end. And a thing about Lex, deads is his worst lift. He's a very great bencher. He's got a really good squat. But, yeah, he, he, sh he showed me today, and I'm proud of him for that. But... I can't let this slide again, so that's not going to happen again. And so, yeah, it was great seeing everybody. I placed fourth in juniors and third in the open, so I didn't take home two medals, but I still took home one. So that's nice to take another medal in my second powerlifting meet. Like I said, I've only been powerlifting for about 11 months now. It hasn't even been a year yet. It's going to be a year in August. But, yeah, it's been a fun ride, and everybody who supported me been there throughout this whole prep, the last two preps has been great. Then two meets back to back pretty much. It's actually two months and a day since compound. So yeah, it's been a fun journey because I scaled really crazy going into compound all my lists blew up and but I scaled it even crazier going into this meet. I literally put on 20 kgs on deads, 17 and a half kg on squat, and then about 10 kg on bench. bench. Team CSUN full of poverty benchers. <laughs> But yeah, I am I am very tired, as you can tell. But it was a great meet. It was so fun for Bayer Barbell's inaugural meet. That was a fantastic meet. I can't wait to see what you guys hold more. Tony, Ty, and Brian, I always tell you guys this. Thank you for having one of the, my favorite gyms in the world. Best gym to train at in the Bay Area. The nicest people you'll ever meet. Alex, Ty's girlfriend, thank you for designing all these Fire Bab shirts that you guys are going to make me go broke on because I'm going to buy all of them. Please stop. <laughs> My bank account is hurting. Nicole, Mr. Goodwin, thank you for putting on another great meet. You guys do a lot of work, and not many people realize that, but thank you guys for that. And everybody else who contributed to this meet or anything, all my competitors and everything, congratulations to you guys. You all put on a good fight. It was a great meet. It was a fun time seeing everyone show out, all my homies show out. And, yeah, it, it was a fun time. So I don't think I have any much more to say. Other than that, I will be competing, I don't know, maybe at the end of the year, if Bab holds another meet, or just maybe wait till next year, get even stronger, because that 600 kg total is elusive right now, and it pissed me off that I didn't get it today, but like I said, I gotta keep working at it. It's just crazy to think, because in December, I pulled four reds on deads for the first time, and in seven months, I basically added a whole red. Bench is bench. Squat really blew up in that time. I went from... 160 kg squat max in January 1st to a 212.5 kg squat today and yeah it's just fun seeing all the progress it's really fun Lucas thank you for dealing with my shit I'm not sending you 20 whatsapp notifications a day anymore but thank you for being a good friend to me and everyone out there it is 5 a.m. I am souped up on too much caffeine. I drank a ghost energy drink on the way up there for the first hour. I took a scoop of pre before squats, and I took another scoop of pre before deads, and I take 110, so I had like 700, 800 milligrams of ca caffeine in me. As you can see, I am fighting to keep my eyes open, but I'm going to get this uploaded in the morning anyway because I love making my YouTube videos. I repeat myself, it was a fun day. It was a great meet. Barrier Barbell's inaugural meet. Oh, couldn't be more perfect. Lex, congrats to you, but this ain't gonna happen again. But like I said, congrats. I'm proud of you. We push each other to our limits and stuff. But yeah, and that is it for this video. Make sure you leave a like and also the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.